Excellency, uh, the High Commissioner of India defeated uh, Mr. Sapkar. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's a pleasure to be here uh, at the High Commission. The gentleman is alluded to by the uh, High Commissioner. Uh, this year, the third International Day of Yoga uh, will be organized by the High Commission in collaboration with the Ministry of Education and Heritage and Arts and uh, supported by other institutions. Uh, uh, also, the Ministry of Local Government is supporting this initiative uh, on the 21st of June at Albert Park in the morning. And uh, <clears throat> uh, we're doing it in a big way uh, because uh, we uh, uh, want uh, yoga to infiltrate uh, in Fiji uh, using our school system, uh, the young minds. We want them to um, get um, uh, tuned to the spirit of yoga. The observance has been manifested in the United Nations resolution which aims to raise awareness worldwide of the many benefits of yoga. The theme for 2017 celebration is Yoga for Health, as alluded to by His Excellency. Uh, it's about uniting your mind, uniting your body, so that we could have um, achieved the united vision that we want um, for, the, for oneself for one's family, one's community, one's society, and one's country as well. The theme, uh, Yoga for Health, highlights the fact that yoga can contribute in a holistic way to achieving a balance and stability between mind and body. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ministry of Education and Heritage and Arts, in its continued pursuit to deliver excellence in schools, implemented a yoga program in all schools around the country last year on the International Day of Yoga. And this step was primarily taken in consideration of the benefits of yoga to our physical and mental health and for personal and national peace and harmony. The holistic benefits of yoga embodies unity of the mind, body, and the thoughts and actions of the individual. Although the practice of yoga requires physical activity, it is certainly not about exercise only. Yoga also assists a person to reach inner peace, harmony and stability through exercise. So unless and until an individual is able to unite uh, and have inner peace, it will be difficult for that individual to contribute to peace in the community, society and the nation, and therefore not being able to contribute to peaceful and stable national building objective of our country. Ladies and gentlemen, our innocent <coughs> children now more than ever are getting vulnerable to a flood of constraints that affect their physical, mental and spiritual state. Issues of drugs and substance abuse, suicide, stress, loss of values, bullying, other social issues and the growing concern from non-communicable diseases is affecting children, not only in Fiji, but throughout the world. Given the plethora of challenges, disturbances and problems our children face, their mind can become instable. And one of the key contributions of yoga is to stabilize your mind. Unless and until you are able to stabilize your mind, it will be difficult for you to undertake deeper thinking and deeper interrogation of the subject matter that you want to understand or grasp. So the first step is, is you being able to stabilize your mind. And stability of mind on a particular aspect is not easy. So it is through yoga that you can practice to so stabilize your mind and then only you can concentrate and deeply interrogate that particular subject matter that you are examining. And this is very critical and very important for students who are, you know, in the early stages of you know, studies. Ladies and gentlemen, yoga activities uh, as part of the physical education classes in schools will support to ease the weight of expectations that our children feel from the past fast changing modern world. The practice of yoga will function as a valve to ease that pressure and in turn nurture resilience to it. Um, Yoga also contributes uh, towards um, development of young sportsmen and sportswomen and Fiji is a sporting nation and uh, we want to use yoga to also contribute towards the development of sporting industry. 
Ladies and gentlemen, um, uh, yoga is something that you don't need a big uh, playing ground or big gymnasium uh, that you uh, would want to have for other uh, activities. It is something that you can practice uh, wherever you go, whether you're going on holiday, you're going to a conference or workshop outside your usual uh, place of residence. And uh, we strongly believe, very firmly believe, um, that we need to get our children um, thinking uh, within our control. And uh, it is through yoga we will be able to stabilize their minds given the kinds of problems, challenges that they're facing in contemporary Fiji and contemporary world. So uh, I want to take this occasion uh, to thank Excellency Sapkal and his team, um, Sharma, for uh, supporting this initiative uh, in a big way. And I can assure you that this investment that we are making now will have a major long-term positive implication on us delivering a very stable, prosperous and future uh, Fiji. Thank you. And I do, and I urge everyone, urge everyone, um, uh, those around Suva area to converge at Albert Park with our students, uh, approximately 3,000 students will be there. But uh, we will be uh, observing that day of yoga throughout uh, Fiji at our schools. Uh, you could come there and, uh, um, and join our children and, and teachers to participate or uh, take time out at your home, wherever you are in Fiji, uh, and uh, practice basic yoga protocols, which uh, will be uploaded on our homepage. You could, you could access that and download that uh, and, and practice that at home. Um, thank you. Thank you.